Hey everybody, thanks for coming to watch the show. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today, talking about one of my favorite subjects, and that is Star Wars. If you have a favorite character or just a story or anything from the Star Wars universe that you'd like me to talk about, just let me know down in the comments and I'll try and incorporate that into my next video. But let's get right into it. So, since the acquisition of Star Wars by Disney, there's been a lot of changes to the franchise that we all know and love. Most of those changes have been pretty good, as we've seen from the movies The Force Awakens and Rogue One, which I believe were both really great. It seems that everyone's initial fears that Disney would ruin the franchise were mostly unfounded and that Disney is taking it in a really great new direction. I for one am really excited to see where they take Star Wars from here and what else they decide to explore in the Star Wars universe. But one big change that I'm sure everyone knows about by now is something that I found to be really disappointing and that is the elimination of all expanded universe information on Star Wars. This includes all the books, comics, and video games that were made that take place outside of the main six movie saga before Disney bought the rights. There were some really great stories and just awesome information in those that I feel like a lot of people uh, just got a lot of enjoyment out of and probably just found those to be even more interesting than the main movies. There have been some new books and comics released since Disney made this change, but the bulk of expanded universe knowledge that we had before this has been wiped clean and relabeled as legends. So Disney still acknowledges it, but they don't really count it as canon, so it doesn't really factor into the story. When I first heard this news, it made me feel like there was pretty much no point in reading those books or learning anything about the characters in the Expanded Universe because Disney didn't care about it anymore. I always found them really enjoyable when I was younger and I read all kinds of books and uh, played all the games and I thought that those things w just really added to the Star Wars Universe. I've recently started reading those books again and I'm here to tell you why you shouldn't count them out just because Disney said they don't matter anymore. I've broken this up into three main reasons and I'm just gonna break those down for you. So the first reason is they develop characters that have little backstory in the movies. So we all know the stories behind our favorite characters in the movies such as Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke Skywalker, and Darth Vader, but aside from the essential facts about those characters, we don't really get to know them very well. For instance, it's a well accepted fact in the movies that Darth Vader is feared by all those that serve under him. But we don't really see where he gets that reputation in the movies. Yeah, we see him choke that guy at the beginning of New Hope, and he force chokes those uh, commanders in Empire Strikes Back, but aside from that, he mainly just comes across as a stern leader, not necessarily someone that you should be deathly afraid of. However, in the Expanded Universe, we really get a clear glimpse of exactly what Vader does to his troops that fail him. After Anakin's transformation into Darth Vader, Many people don't even know who is inside the suit and theorize that it's just a droid that Palpatine has employed to do his dirty work. This is addressed in the novel Dark Lord Rise of Darth Vader, which takes place right after Revenge of the Sith. Many of the Imperial leaders don't give him the same level of respect at first that we see manifest in the movies. However, throughout that book and many others, we get a much more vivid picture of exactly how Darth Vader instills this fear in his troops and it just adds a whole new level of detail to that character. The second reason that I find uh, the Expanded Universe to be worth checking out is we get more info on things that we loved in the movies. One of my favorite things about Star Wars is the many interesting characters and locations that are on display in the movies. But some of those barely get any screen time or attention. One of the most glaring examples of this is Boba Fett. For some reason, despite being only shown for about 10 minutes total in the movies, Boba becomes one of the most popular characters in the whole saga. To this day, you can still go into just about any major store and find some sort of Star Wars merchandise with Boba Fett on it. If you just looked at what he does in the movies, which is mostly just stand around and look awesome, he doesn't really seem that impressive. But if you read books about him, you're given a lot more reason to like him. For instance, in the movie Return of the Jedi, Boba falls into the Sarlacc pit and is presumed dead. But in a novel series called Bounty Hunter Wars, we learn that after the events of that movie, Boba Fett manages to not only survive this, 
but kill the Sarlacc with a bomb while it's inside its stomach and escape. There are hundreds of other examples of characters and events that are expanded upon in these books, but this is just one of my favorites. The third reason is we learn more about the dark side of the Force. In the movies, we don't really see the dark side as much more than just an opponent for our heroes. It serves as a constant temptation to them, but it's pretty obvious what they should do and why the dark side is considered wrong. Seeing the monstrous things that dark side users do in the movies, such as destroy planets and kill children, it's pretty obvious to see why those are considered wrong and hard to see why they could rationalize them as an acceptable act. But books and video games in the expanded universe help us to understand the appeal of the dark side. A great example of this is in the Darth Bane trilogy of books that I'm currently reading. They start out showing us the origin of Darth Bane, who is a miner on a remote Outer Rim world. He endures countless hardships throughout his life, such as an abusive father, a grueling job, and a faceless corporation that basically enslaves him because of his debt. He is basically powerless throughout the bulk of his life, but without spoiling anything, certain events transpire and he ends up joining the Sith who show him how to take charge of his life and use his anger and the turmoil that he's endured to finally experience control over his own fate. For someone like Bane who has never gotten any help from anyone but the Sith and knows that the world isn't a fair place, we can see how the dark side draws him in with a promise of power and control. This isn't really a viewpoint that we see in the movies. The only person we see fall to the dark side is Anakin, and he does so for impulsive and emotional reasons that we could have really avoided had he been more in control of himself. I've only touched on a few books in the expanded universe, but there's literally decades of information in what is now considered Legends material. There are countless stories and characters to be discovered in the expanded universe, and I highly recommend that you find out for yourself. If you're not really sure where to start, I'd recommend reading the new Jedi Order series. There are just about two dozen books in that series, and it takes place after Return of the Jedi and expands upon the stories of Luke, Han, and Leia. But if you don't really care about those characters, I recommend just picking out a character from the Star Wars universe that you like and seeing if there's a book written about them or that includes them. I can just about guarantee that they're mentioned in there somewhere. I would also recommend playing the games Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, as they are fantastic expanded universe stories. The first one you can play on your uh, iPhone or Android, but uh, you would have to have a PC or an original Xbox to play the second one. But trust me, it's worth it. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed, and if you have a favorite uh, story, book, comic, game, just anything from the Expanded Universe, let me know what that is in the comics, and uh, we'll talk about it. Thanks for watching. See ya.